In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Math Test 8, Section 4, Calculator Permitted, Questions 6 through 8. All right, let's take a look at the first question, 6. Two types of tickets were sold for a concert held at an amphitheater. Tickets to sit on a bench during the concert cost $75 each, and tickets to sit on the lawn during the concert cost $40 each. Organizers of the concert announced that 350 tickets had been sold and that $19,250 had been raised through ticket sales alone. Which of the following systems of equations can be used to find the number of tickets for bench seats B and the number of tickets for lawn seats L that were sold for the concert? Very common question, systems of equations. We don't have to solve it, we just have to set it up. And so I always recommend starting with what I call the single variable. So just the single variable is the number of tickets sold. So we've got B for bench, we've got L for lawn, and we know the total number of tickets sold, 350. So we know B plus L equals 350 is our first equation. If we look at the choices, a works, B works. This is mixing up the total number of tickets with the revenue, and this works. So we only eliminated one. Now let's look at the revenue equation. We know that bench tickets cost $75 each, so it's 75 times B. We know that lawn tickets are 40, so that's 40L. We add this up, the revenue, and then we get 19250 and the only one that works is D. All right, this one switches them up and this one takes the product, D. Number seven, in the XY plane, the graph of which of the following equations is aligned with a slope of three in the XY plane. So these, we just, especially if it's in uh, slope intercept form, we're just looking, we know Y equals MX plus B right away. This one doesn't take long at all, all right? The Y intercept is two, the slope is three, the answer is C. And let's take a look at the last question on this page, number eight. In the equation above, which of the following is a possible value of x plus one? All right, so we're look to, looking to find x plus one. And now we have x plus one is two over x plus one. If, how can we clear that? We can clear the denominator if we multiply both sides by x plus one. And so here that's gonna cancel out. And on this side, we get x plus one times x plus one. So it's x plus one, the quantity squared equals two. We can remember that we're getting closer. So how do we get rid of the square? We take the square root of both sides. And so this just becomes x plus one. We take the square root of two, and that's gonna be plus or minus. And so the two solutions for x plus one would be the square root of two, positive or negative. And if you look at the choices, we don't have the negative, we only have the positive, and so that could be a following solution. B is the answer.